take any calendar you have. Any calendar will do. This must be some wildlife something. Wonderful. And get just cut yourself a little viewfinder. A viewfinder is just a piece of cardboard or white paper and with a two inch by three inch opening in the center. Cut that out and then open to any picture and lay your viewfinder down. You're looking at something interesting, finding something that's interesting that you might be able to put together into a little uh, marker, sketchbook, resource to go back to for possibly a painting another day. So I'm looking at this area right here. And I'm looking at, I've drawn it here. So right there, I zeroed in on this and look at the pattern, look at the repetition. I mean, when you're dealing with just black and white, this can be blown up and made into a, a very interesting abstract painting. Um, another one are just some of the stripes here with the grasses. I know what this one was. This was a rhinoceros. But again, any of these can work where you zero in on a section and then attempt to reproduce it in a square, a little rectangle. And this is pretty amazing. And if you work with, that's cute. If you work with colored pictures, you can um, zero in on certain parts of it. This really got my interest right there. And I reproduced it over here with just marks so that it kind of shows you forget what, what it is you're looking at anymore. And it just starts to trick your mind into seeing as an artist sees. So you're seeing things in patterns and shapes and that's what the viewfinder helps you find, patterns and shapes. There's another with the caterpillar there. Maybe if I move it over here. It's just such a big calendar, it's hard to see it all. But right there. So you try to interpret it and just kind of squint at it and see where the darks are, where the mediums are, where the lights are. And do some small sketches with a marker and just going for pattern, designs, shapes. It's getting your mind to stop saying caterpillar, leaf, branch, zebra. It's getting your mind to switch over to see it in a different way, to see it in an artistic way. So that's part two of this. Make yourself a viewfinder and start to use it everywhere. I mean, the viewfinder can find things just in life, wherever you go, that'll be really wonderful and interesting things to draw and then to later blow up and make into some other form of art with um, pastels or paint or anything else that you find you're going to enjoy doing. So viewfinder and little small sketches. Be back in a bit.